hey guys so I've decided I want to do weekly vlogs of the next couple of weeks because this is my last project at uni and I'm actually really enjoying it today's the first day um, so technically I'm starting this a little bit late because it's actually seven o'clock at night on a Monday but I'm gonna start the vlog anyway so one of my favorite design creator youtuber things is Charlie Marley TV and she does weekly vlogs of her design week, life as a designer. Well I thought I'd kind of do a life as a design student um, just for the next couple of weeks because like I said it's the last project of the term, well of the year. So without further ado let's start the week. Today is Monday the 10th of April at 7 o'clock. Who cares? You probably can't tell but it is raining outside. Well it's starting to, I don't really know but I've been away for a week so I need to go buy food but like I said it's gonna start raining. It's not even raining, what the fuck, I'm wearing a scarf and a massive jacket when I could have worn my leather jacket. Great! Anyway I'm gonna start doing some uni work um, let me just brief you about what I've done so far. So, we oh, start off by lifting up and looking at, oh, our little brief is in here and our timetable for the week. We got that slotted in quite nicely. The entire project is to make three bookmarks for different sections of this massive book. Um, the massive book is in my bag. Eh. You had to pick which groupings you were going to do. So my grouping is about process, alphabet, and wit. You can't really read any of this. And then we skip to this bit, which is when, which I started today. Uh, just crank you up a little bit. So today I started looking at the initial concepts, what I can use, what I can do to make these bookmarks relative to which each one of them is about. So process, I'm going to do it as a form of photography. Um, the alphabet is going to be done with typography and wit is going to be done through illustration. Now each week we have to focus on something different, so this week for you guys is all about alphabet and typography, which is going to be fun. So looking at alphabets and how um, different people illustrate them, different typography. The book went on a lot about Greek stuff. So you probably can't see much of this, but this is my research. Basically the idea I have at the moment for the Greek and Latin thing is to make a slab-like bookmark that's engraved into. This Greek one's only one idea, so there's only been one little outcome for this, but there could be three outcomes for alphabet typography. This is just one of them. So yeah, I got a lot of work to do um, because each week is for one bookmark. We're not allowed to go over. So this week I have to have at least three kind of ideas for the alphabet and just one idea is that Greek idea. And the other two, I think one might be universal. I don't know. Um, basically I'm just focusing on the Greek one with the slabs and I'm gonna develop it a little bit more, do some digital concepts and see how I could make it into an actual thing. This is the front and I'm layering it so this will all get cut out because it's going to be like laser cut. That's the back. This thing is the thing that turns under this on top of this. Yeah. This is the monster of a book we're doing. Oh look at that white balance. This massive book is the project you've got. It's just full of visual content. It's beautiful. I love it. Breakfast in bed. Who am I kidding? I have bread. Blech. Who am I kidding? I have breakfast in bed every morning. So I started 13 Reasons Why last night. Bad idea. I watched four episodes and now I'm about to watch another one. All good. I'm gonna watch this as I get ready for uni. Off to uni only like 10 minutes late and it takes me 15 minutes to walk there so I will be 20 minutes late by the time I get there. It's all good. So I finished at uni, it's only 
it's only half four. Um, but I kind of wanted to finish early today because, well, the afternoon we spent doing a crit, which is where we just talk about um, and write down all our thoughts about the semester and like also last semester, basically the whole year in review. It took us two hours, it was nuts. So yesterday I was doing a Greek concept, today I was doing a universal one, so looking at space and galaxies and astronauts. I like, I like galaxies. It's, it's kind of my colour scheme, it's purples, blues and pinks, so I like, I like galaxies. That I might work on tomorrow because tonight um, I'm going to an entrepri enterprise, <laughs> an entrepreneur meeting, briefing, exhibition, lecture, lecture is the word I'm looking for, presentation would actually be the best word for it. It's an hour long I think, I actually don't know, it might be two hours, but I'm only going to stay for an hour because I'm meeting Jack for um, a film, so that's what I'm going to do uh, later on tonight, so not much um, uni work is going to get done today. You don't have to worry that you don't know everything about it. You, know, you don't have to worry that your, your five-year plan's not quite complete or you haven't got a clue how to, to do a business plan. But these guys will help you out. So I'm back from the entrepreneur presentation thing. I felt like they were all very rushed, so you know, that was the only downside to it. And because there were so many, like there was five guest speakers, seven minutes each, all very different brands, it was very... I don't know, all over the place. I don't think anyone really got any information from it apart from just go start a business. One thing you guys must love about my vlogs is you get the same kind of shots the whole time. I don't know, I'm sorry. I edited the vlog, I put in some music and it was like working so well. But then it changes to that. It, it doesn't work for the the visual, I'm afraid. I was like, yeah, yeah, I like it. And then when I put it together, I'm like, oh no. And I normally don't have a problem with that, but today I do. Anyway, it is 20 to 8 now, so I actually um, should probably go get my bus because it takes about 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'm liking, I, I tend to give myself a lot of time nowadays to get into town. I've seen different uh, sorts of gin, mm -hmm. and I love their style. I'm actually a real big fan of the flavored gins that you get as well watching two films, I ended up seeing a midnight screening of Fast and Furious 8, I believe, as well. Um, so now I'm going to start doing some like late night photography, because why not? It's really chill. And I haven't done any like nighttime photography before, so it's interesting. Anyway, my phone battery is running low. I'm nearly home, so I will speak to you guys in the morning. Prop you up in here so I can like make my coffee. We went and saw Skull Island and then we went and saw Fast and Furious 8 as well. Do I have a... Um, and yeah, really good. I like being spontaneous and the fact that I was just like, fuck it, let's see the midnight screening as well. So yeah, today I'm going to uni and I'm going there for a couple of hours. Actually, I'll see how long I stay there. Busy day today. That's why I need coffee. So change of plan for today, because I've gotten up so late and it's like almost 12 o'clock, um, I'm gonna work from home today. Also, I have agreed to do a shift at work work um, later on, so there's, if I go to uni, I have to leave early because I need to get ready for work and yada yada yada. So I was just like, I'll stay here and I'll work from home. Yesterday, what did we do yesterday? We finished off the Greek idea and then we made this prototype here, um, which, um, you can't really tell, but it will be 3D. Um, it's very flimsy at the moment because it's just paper, but I've etched into that, like I've cut it out, so that will be laser cut. And then this thing, this is really hard to do one-handed, spins. <laughs> so you got you got the title of the section, which is alphabet. It accidentally got cut off because of where the pin is, but that's just development issues. And then you got the page number, so it goes from page 170 to 176. And this is the art of looking sideways, because that is the title of the book. So yeah, I'm really happy with the first kind of like prototype for this. Um, I mean, it's shit, but it does the job. Um, so the next idea is universe, because um, language is universal, alphabets are universal, yada yada yada. So looking at space and astronauts, because there's a quote in the book about astronauts in space. So we're kind of using that as an inspiration. 
Um, first element of the alphabet one was laser cut, so this one's going to be a calligram, which is when you make up an image out of your text. And now we're just building up this idea of making a shape out of a spaceman and having a turning element again um, and this being made out of typography. So I have been sitting working on this awesome edit and um, I really like it. Uh, look at this. Mr. Spaceman, um, cause you know all the text and the, he's a spaceman. So um, yeah, that's taken me so long to edit um, because each and every individual word I'm having to warp to fit the silhouette. And the silhouette's really quite niggly and I've never done this sort of thing before, so it's very difficult. Um, but you know, as you do it more, you get better at it, so it's fine. So today is actually my last day in the studio because we're moving back to the Grays building. And I've come in at half nine and nobody's here and I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. It means I can vlog. So I need to really get motivated and get on with it and pick a final idea. I still need to develop one more idea before I pick a final for the alphabet. Because technically it's meant to be developed by the end of this week and um, that's not happening. <laughs> Today is Friday and it's like nearly 12 o'clock and I've just, just mm, I have so much to do. Um, there's actually an art festival happening in Aberdeen at the moment called the New Art Festival. It is a street art festival and it celebrates street art and promoting street art and loads of street artists have come up and done loads of massive murals and stuff. I'm gonna get as much work as I can done and if I feel like I've done enough I will go to the short film screening because I'm interested in short film and street art and I think it would be a damn shame to miss something that I'm really interested in. So I really want to make sure that I've got a lot of work done before I go. Oh, I've been working on this essay for so long that I worked through lunch and now I've got like the shakes. So I've like got myself some soup and some crumpets. <sighs> okay, that is quarter to five. My day has been wasted. It feels like I've been sitting writing this essay for four hours. It's nuts. Um, nearly done. I've got 1,500 words. I just need to summarise a few more points, make a conclusion, and structure a little bit better. So yeah, I'm um, just gonna head into town and see this cool street art thing, which will be fun. Let's go. Look at this baby that I have. Um, I have no idea if it works, but I went and bought film from work and, you know, I played about with the lens and stuff. And I got two separate lenses as well. Um, a massive lens, I had to take this out of the case. He was like, this lens is like a super, super lens. I was like, oh, cool. And if I can get an adapter for this, I can, oh, okay. <laughs> That's how this one works. A slidey zoom. I've never used a lens like this before. It's weird. Anyway, you can get adapters so that you can put them onto your um, SLR cameras. My friend Ollie did a video about how to do that, so I will link that as well as a card if you're interested in that. £32, and then they dropped the price down to 25 for me, which I thought was really nice considering it came with like bags and stuff. And I was like, wow, that's so nice. And they gave me a light as well, and I'm like, wow, that's so nice. I didn't know anything about like film cameras. I didn't know the prices or anything. And then once I started Googling around, this camera's worth like £15 online, so I think they knew that and, um, you know, keeping the lenses and stuff on price as well. So I think I got a good deal. Um, I'm going to take it to work and discuss it with my photography friend Claire tomorrow. Um, I've done a few shoots with her and she develops film at work, so hopefully she'll be able to tell me <laughs> how to use this camera a little bit. Yeah, that's me. Set for the night. <laughs> cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow.